Hi, I'm Jack from Dayton, Ohio. This is a 1943-44, actually, uh, Link flight simulator. Uh, they were essential during World War II to train pilots, so before a pilot would ever be assigned a plane, he'd have to get trained in a Link trainer to know his capabilities, and once he knew his, they knew he could fly and learn the instruments, then he would uh, be assigned to a particular aircraft. This uh, particular trainer was in storage for a long time and uh, pretty well neglected for several years. Uh, it's gonna take a lot of work to get just cleaned up to the point that we'll understand better how it'll operate. But right now, what I've gone through on this trainer, it, it looks like there's no reason it can't become fully functional again. Of course, it's going to need a paint job and uh, getting, it mainly operates on pneumatics and getting all the pneumatics operating. The technology involved here is player piano technology. So there's organ bellows and lots of other pneumatic type instruments that are incorporated in here in order to make this an operational simulator. Do you have one of the bellows here to show us? Uh, I can show you a small bellow. Okay. This is one that I've recovered and this is part of the system that will uh, feed the instruments and as you can see they're interconnected everything's very mechanical very very neat very much fun to work on very repairable okay. and then, uh, what you got, you're working, this is the this, pedestal is, this is the pedestal part of the motion system so this would plug into the cockpit it's fed down to these slip rings down below and the slip rings are set up so that they'll have brushes that will ride on the slip rings and feed the signal to components down below in the base. This is the base. This is a vacuum motor that provides the vacuum to the simulator and uh, it will also feed over to an instrument, an instructor's desk that will uh, the instructor will be able to communicate radio uh, just like it was a um, control tower to cockpit type and then situation. Looks like you've got drawings here, is that correct? Lots of documentation on this. The documentation is wonderful. It gives me not only parts breakdowns, but also order of ins uh, assembly and uh, overhaul instructions. So, so what uh, year are you talking? This would have been 1944. This was built. Okay. Binghamton, New York.